Hi, this is Mo Volans for Tuts Plus, and I'm here with another synthesis-based routing quick tip tutorial. Um, this really isn't part of my basic subtractive synthesis uh, series that I was doing, but it is based on synths. Um, what it's looking at is using sidechain inputs or external inputs uh, to uh, act as a modulator in synths. So this isn't really treating external audio inputs. I know some synths will do that. Um, but this is concentrating on those synths that have sidechain capability. So if you've got a synthesizer that can accept a sidechain, especially in Logic, um, this is one to look out for because it's quite useful. So right here, I've got a couple of drum loops and a really simple string pattern. I'll play it back, show you what I've got. So the pad sound or the string sound is coming out of the ES2 synth. And you can see it's just a legato three note chord sequence with a you know, four part progression. Really, really simple stuff. Um, the side chain up here is what we're going to be using. Now, if the synth you've got hasn't got that there, it's not side chain capable. It's really, really simple. If you see that side chain thing pop up in any third party synth or any internal logic synth, um, or indeed in any synth in Cubase or anything else, um, then you can do this. So, as soon as you've realized your synth is sidechain compatible, you can start to use a sidechain input. And I'm just gonna pick the main beat here. You can see from this drop down menu, you can pick any of your um, audio faces in inputs, and this is all coming from the UAD Apollo. So 32 inputs there, but you, so you could use a live input like a guitar or a vocal, um, but I'm gonna pick one of the audio channels. So I'm gonna pick the main drum loop. And as soon as we've done that, um, you won't actually hear any difference at first. Let's filter it down but we can now choose the sidechain input as a source. So I'm going to go down to the mod matrix. I'm going to pick cut off two, which is the cut off you just saw me manipulate in there. Let's add a bit of resonance. And we've got cut off two selected. And then I'm going to go to the source and you can see we've got LFOs, we've got envelopes, mod wheel, and right at the bottom, sidechain. And now when I start to dial it in, I bring the cut off down. You can hear that modulation happening. Let's mute this other drum loop. And it'll even work when it's muted. So it's a really nice way of link it, getting an organic link between your drum loops or your um, percussion parts and your synth parts. Um, let's try a different loop. So we'll try this topper, which is sort of more of a percussion loop. So a bit more of a groove there. Let's add a bit of distortion. A bit of phaser. Bring the beats back in. And without it, it suddenly sounds very static. So it sort of links up nicely with the parts you've already got. So that's how to use sidechain inputs uh, especially in Logic with synthesizers and use them as uh, use the sidechain input as an external modulation source. Hopefully that's given you a bit of food for thought. If you want to see any other quick tips, uh, Logic-based, Reason-based, Ableton-based, Bitwig-based, um, anything you want to see, just let me know in the comments. I'll try and fit it in in my to-do list. But until then, I'll say bye for now and thanks for watching.